All right, we've talked about these different data types, but what we really would like to be able to do is store this data in memory. So we create something called a variable. Um, so this variable is something that can be stored in memory and the value that's stored in memory can be changed, it can be varied, that's why we call it a variable. Um, but before we can do that, we need to um, declare um, what type of variable it is um, and what the name of that variable is so it creates a spot in memory. Um, so we only have to do this once. We don't wanna do this every time we interact with the variable. It's just um, before we do anything, we need to declare it. So to declare it, it's, um, it's a two, two word process. You do the data type and the name of the variable. So um, if I wanted an int to store the length of the word, I would say int word length and then semicolon to say I'm done. Okay. If you have a bunch um, that you want to declare all at the same time and they're all the same data type, you can do that. So double length width height. So I've created three variables called length, width, and height, and they're all doubles. Okay. Um, that won't come up a lot until later on, but I just wanted to tell you that is a thing that we can do. Now, um, you need to be smart when you name your variables. Um, you really want to name them in a way that's, um, that says what they are. Um, something that's not too long, but also, you know, descriptive. Um, a lot of lazy programmers will put like, will call their variable A because it's easy to type. Um, but something that you need to realize is as you go on, you'll actually spend more time reading code than you will writing code. So it's more important to have something that's readable than something that's really short to write. Um, and remember, you're not the only one who's going to be reading your code. Other people are going to be reading it too. Um, also, as far as naming goes, um, we want to use um, lowercase, or if you do multiple words, we do camel case, which looks like this. By the way, I suggest using this on your hashtag so people can read them. <laughs> but um, lowercase and then uppercase, no spaces no underscores, um, but we, we have that uppercase to indicate that we've reached the next word. Okay, and again, that's called camel case. Um, there's, you can't have anything but letters and numbers, and you can't start um, with anything that's not um, a letter, underscore, or um, dollar sign. You can't start with a number, okay? And I don't recommend doing the underscore or the dollar sign, and that doesn't fly anywhere else in your um, uh, in your variable name. Okay, I really recommend all uh, all letters and numbers um, in camel case. This is also a list of words that you can't use. Okay, why can't we use them? Well, because they're they're used for other things. You don't need to memorize this list. But if you use one of these words, usually it'll change colors and you go, oh, that's a reserved word. I better call this something else. Um, so anyways, um, so that's how you create a variable in Java.